I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus and to my heart. So before we jump into today's video, I just want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. So BetterHelp has the world's largest network of licensed, experienced, and accredited therapists who can help with a range of issues, including trauma, depression, anxiety. With their therapist, you get the same professionalism and quality that you would get from an in-office therapist. The thing is you have the ability to communicate how you want. So what you do is you answer some personal questions about yourself, which are confidential by the way. And based off your responses, you are then paired with a therapist. Now, what I do like about this is that if you don't feel like you're vibing or clicking with the therapist, you do have the option to change your therapist. So part of BetterHelp's mission is to make professional therapy accessible, convenient, and affordable. They wanna make it to where anyone who struggles with life's challenges can receive help anywhere at any time. They have individual therapy, couples therapy, and team therapy. So if you have a specific challenge that you're struggling with in life and you're looking for a therapist, but let's just say you don't necessarily wanna go in office because that's not convenient for you, I highly recommend contacting BetterHelp. I'll have all of their links listed down below in my description box. And once again, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. So you guys, I'm really excited about today's video. It has been long overdue. There's a few of you guys who constantly ask me, when are we gonna get that office tour, Shanti? When are we gonna get it? Like, when are you gonna be done with the office? And so the time has finally come. It took me a while to put this office together. It's not because it's like such a huge space, but the reason why it took so long is because I couldn't see like my vision complete. You know, when I start to decorate, I have to have the vision and I have to know like what I'm doing. I had an idea, but I didn't have like the full picture. It was really important to me that it represented like everything that I love right now. And it was a space that I felt, I don't know that I felt good in. I felt good in, I'm able to feel creative in. And so I just took my time with it. Basically I was trying to be very intentional. I was trying to be very intentional. You guys will see early on cause I'm gonna show you there's an accent wall that my husband painted for me. You guys will probably be like, oh my gosh, this is Shanti's house because I don't have like pops of color really in my house. I kind of have like just like a neutral palette and that is typically how I like to decorate. So my intention behind the office, like I said before, was to just create a space that when I went in there, I, I just absolutely loved. And also to some of you guys, when you guys see this space, there's an object in there that will might be an eyesore and that is my treadmill. If you guys follow me over on my vlog channel, then you know that we actually have like a little gym area back in my husband's workshop. So you're probably wondering, why on earth would you move the treadmill to your office? Well, it's because I don't, I don't want no excuses to not use it. I want to be able to go in that space. And like I said, everything in there, y'all, everything in there represents me. Either something I'm trying to do better at. I want to be intentional about working out too. I want to be healthier um, physically, mentally, spiritually. Literally, that's just a space that, I don't know, I feel so, I feel good in. And I feel like everybody should have a space like that of their own. Uh, for my husband, it's his workshop. That's his space. And for me, it's my office. So I'm going to show you the whole space. I'm going to give you an overview. Like I said, the room is not super huge, but I'm going to give you an overview of what everything looks like. And then I'm going to let you know where everything came from. And I'll do my best to link whatever I can link down below in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I also included just a couple little clips of me shopping at Hobby Lobby to kind of give you guys an idea for those of you who haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while, what they have in store. And actually I was pleasantly surprised. Like I was really surprised that they had quite a few cute items. And not because, um, I used to shop at Hobby Lobby all the time, but I felt like there got to a point where like, that's, you know, you just kept seeing the same thing over and over and over. So now I feel like they've incorporated other things and that's super exciting. Anyways, let's jump into the video. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day. But the night we be going so hard on the flip side. Tell me we'll be on a day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather 
wanna be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion the wood we got from Home Depot as well, and my husband is just taking his time making sure that it's painted correctly because there's grooves on the wood and he didn't want to miss a spot. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead, but we could go all night. Now all of my calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? I separate ways ain't gon' end well, no. A little tip when buying paint, buy the sample first, you guys. Buy the sample and then paint your wall. Take it to your house before you go buy a whole gallon of paint because sometimes, you know, paint can look one way when you're looking at it, like the sample. And then when you get it home with your lighting and your things that you have going on in your house, it looks completely different. And I know this, but if you notice in the beginning of the video, there was like kind of two splotches on the wall. We went ahead and just bought a whole gallon of paint without buying the sample. And when I got it home, I did not like the color. So now I'm stuck with this gallon of paint because they mix it at Home Depot. And so you can't return it anyway. So we had to go buy a whole nother gallon of paint. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I ended up loving how the wall came out. I love this second option right here. I'm just showing you the wood stain, the natural wood stain that we chose to go with for the shelves. We can run and down for days, never let it stop. I just want your everything, baby. When it came time to decorate the shelves, I realized I didn't have what I wanted. So I headed over to Hobby Lobby and they had a ton of cute pieces. Drinking from your bottle, baby. Now this has nothing to do with the decor that I bought, but how stinking cute are these pieces, you guys? If my kids were babies still, I would have definitely bought this for their nursery, but, or if I had my daycare, I would have definitely purchased those. Right here, I'm just showing you everything that we have to decorate the shelves with. I'm curious to know how many of you guys like doing home projects like me. I love being creative and thinking of ways to change our space. So let me know down below if you're going to be doing any home projects around your house this summer. So if you're new around here in each one of my videos, I like to recite either a positive quote or phrase that I have read somewhere. And today's quote is just more of a fact, but it is hate. It has caused a lot of problems in this world, but it has not solved one yet.
telling you it ain't what I got Don't wanna be stuck in a spot Cause I don't really like what I got So I change shit Bit by bit It's not ungrateful Just being helpful for me and you Cause we gotta go our own way Gotta, gotta go our own way yeah. This was not a good stay Gotta, gotta go our own way Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start over here. That faux plant that's in the basket, I got from Amazon. I just put some moss that I got from Hobby Lobby inside. The actual basket itself came from Marshalls. These are real stems that came off my Monstera plant. And just so you guys know, I named all my plants and her name is Honey. The basket tray came from Magnolia.com and the vase itself came from Target. This stand came from Amazon. Both of the plants on there are real. The humidifier came from Amazon. The gold watering can came from Target. And these little like mirrored pieces, I'm not exactly sure what they're called or what they are. Um, I think you definitely can hang them on the wall because they have a piece on the back to hang them on the wall, but this is how I utilize them. And I got them from the Target dollar spot, I believe last year. So the abstract art came from Etsy. I literally just printed it out on my printer and then I put them in picture frames, $5 picture frames that I got from Target. And the Etsy PNG was only $5 as well. The wood hangers either came from Ikea or Amazon. Clearly this is a treadmill I was telling you guys about and why I decided to have it here in the office. Those dumbbells are super cute and I got them from Target. The gold mirror came from Target as well. The decorative boxes on the top of the bookshelf came from Amazon. The two vases came from Magnolia.com. The actual bookshelf itself I've had for a few years and I got from Wayfair. As you can see, it houses my Cricut Maker 
and my HP printer. I also have another Cricut upstairs, but I didn't want to put both of them down here. Besides, the Maker is the only one that matches. The Explorer is like a mint green color. It's actually very pretty, but it's upstairs in my room. The Pompous Grass I got from Amazon, and then that vase, which I absolutely love. This is one of the very first pieces I bought when I was trying to redo my office. I got from Marshalls. This lamp I got on clearance from HomeGood. I got this very recent. If there are any of you who are pin lovers like myself, this brand of pins is amazing. Now they are a bit pricey. I believe you pronounce it Tull or Tool. Nevertheless, they're not cheap, but you guys, if you love a smooth writing pin, head down to my description box and these will link be linked down below. Like I said, they're not cheap, but they're definitely worth it. And the they come out black, but the bottoms all have different colors. Like this is like a silver gray color. That's rose gold. This one is like a light pink at the bottom. They're really pretty. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm obsessed with pins, so that's my thing. So I believe everything over here came from Amazon. The pillowcase, which you guys, this pillowcase, this is really, really good quality. Like it's very thick. I love the color, it's really pretty. The throw blanket came from Amazon as well as the chair. And I was afraid that the chairs would not be comfortable, but they are, and then they also swivel. The curtains and curtain rods both came from Target and the beaded like pullbacks, curtain pullbacks, tiebacks, whatever you call them, came from Amazon. My mouse and mouse pad I both got from Amazon and I love the color of this mouse pad. It's like a leather material and it's a very kind of like light beige, kind of like pinkish color, but it's really pretty. This boho cup holder I got from either Amazon or Etsy and then this cup I got from Amazon. I also got my pencil sharpener from Amazon. These file holders came from HomeGoods and I'm still kind of transitioning. I have a few things left upstairs in my desk so, so there isn't anything in the files right now but there will be and then these are all my planners. I have a personal planner, one for YouTube and then the other one is just like for notes, things I don't want to forget. This wax warmer, if you guys follow me over my blog channel you've seen this a while ago but it came from Amazon. And right now, this is what's burning inside my wax warmer. If you guys haven't tried this, if you guys like linen or no, just fresh scents, hurry to Walmart and go pick you some up. This I I burn this all around my house. I think it smells so good. The wall shelf came from Target, and the little plants on that are sitting on the wall shelf came from the Target Dollar Spot. I picked them up over the past few years. This faux plant came from Amazon, and my Khaleesi bear put the stems on it for me. She she was so cute. She was so proud of herself. The pot holder and the stand both came from the Target dollar spot. This wall right here, you guys, is everything to me. This, this just brings me joy, just looking at this wall. So shout out to my husband for all his hard work and never having or giving me a hard time when I have different ideas. He's always with it. He always makes my visions come true. I literally like sketch out what I want. Sometimes I don't even sketch it out. I just tell him and he just like puts it. I don't know how he knows what I'm looking for, but all I did was draw up this wall. I told him the color I was looking for and kind of how like I wanted the accents on either side of the wall and how I wanted the shelves to look. And he made it, he made it happen like he always does. I took you guys to Hobby Lobby with me and that's basically where I got the majority of the stuff that's on the shelf. I don't want to say the majority, but quite a few things. So we'll go ahead and stop with, start with the very top shelf. And that is a, a live plant. Her name is Megan the Plant. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me, okay? <laughs> um, you see me pick up that vase, like that terracotta color looking vase from Hobby Lobby. That black vase actually came from the Dollar Tree and it has been spray painted a few different colors. And then you see me get that picture from Hobby Lobby, which I think is so super cute. I love how it has all different shades of women. These two books came from Amazon and then that little vase came from Hobby Lobby as well. Now this little piece with the upside down rainbow looking thing, I just thought it was really cute. Now you can hang that on the wall. There's two different little slots where you, you can hang that on the wall, but clearly I just wanted to use it for my shelf. This little plant pot came from Amazon and the faux plant inside, I believe I got from Ikea. And this globe I got from Burlington not too long ago. This faux plant over here came from Marshalls and that little basket came from the Target dollar spot. This pegboard came from Target and I'm not done putting the things that I want to put on there. But right now I just have some markers in this little basket and then some of my Cricut pins in this basket here. I have my gold scissors hanging. And then right here on the wall, I have some of my Cricut mats hanging up as well. 
I absolutely love this piece of art right here. I got it from Home Goods, pretty recent. My friend who was with me when I purchased it, um, she was like, this looks like you, Shanti. You definitely need to get it. And I was like, yeah, I definitely do. And then when I took, took it to the register to go pay for it, the cashier told me the same thing, that it kind of looked like me. At the time, my hair was down and it was straight. And so anyways, long story short, she had to come home with me. I think she's really pretty. And um, it's just like a good statement piece here in the office. This pendant light here came from Article, and this is the smaller one. So they, I believe they have two sizes, small and large, and this is small. The desk itself was a custom build, and it was built specifically for this space. I always wanted like an L-shaped desk, and that's because this side I just want to use for working, anything I'm doing that pertains to work, like YouTube when I edit and th things like that. And then this side I want to use for when I when I'm using my Cricut and I'm being like creative so I wanted two different spaces or if my kids want to come in here and I'm working you know they can sit over there I'll have to pull up another chair if my husband of course wants to come in here and be with me he can sit in that chair but uh, I love how it's like enough space but it doesn't take up a lot of space if that makes sense the rug I got from Ruggable now this was my first well actually I ordered two rugs you guys will see another rug in my next video I believe it'll be the next video but this is a Ruggable rug I've been wanting one of these and I absolutely love the design on this and I feel like the little black accents are all tied in together because of this rug so I, of course I'll keep you guys posted on when I wash it, like how, you know, it turns out I haven't had to wash it yet, but I, I really love it. And it's really soft. I forgot to mention that that accent table I got from Kohl's and I've had it for a few years now. I absolutely love it. Um, I feel like it matches any kind of design. So whatever you have going, going on, whether it's modern, farmhouse, boho, it literally can match anything. Um, now I don't like how the bottom looks but that's where like all the Wi-Fi and all that different kind of stuff is housed I'm probably gonna put something in front of it so you can't really see it that's just me everything has to kind of look aesthetically pleasing but be practical at the same time I just have some extra computer paper and then a clear case with some more Cricut stuff and then all three of those bins all have Cricut stuff in there so I have like the Cricut heat press in there I have an industrial size heat press but I keep it in the back of my husband's workshop I keep like extra t-shirts in there so when I want to uh, make the kids or us a t-shirt there's extra t-shirts in there there's vinyl in there so that's what's in those three baskets so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below what was your favorite aspect of the office. Mine personally is the accent wall. I think most of you guys will probably say that. And then the fact that all the greenery is in there because since I'm just so into plants right now. Don't forget to head down to the description box to check out the BetterHelp link. Once again, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Also, everything that I could possibly link in my office is linked in the description box once again. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload future videos. And until next time, everybody, bye! I'm telling you that there ain't no other way Pack your bags and then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay mm -hmm. Say maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this differently Things